The fact is, quantum mechanics says the cat is neither dead nor alive. Um, right. Now, the yeah. question is, if you have to observe something to make sure the cat is either dead or alive, this means, of course, that somebody has to do the observing. Yes, right. <laughs> consciousness has to open the box. Uh -huh. Now, the question is, therefore, yeah. was there consciousness before humans? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Cool. Now, yeah. Einstein asked this question. He said, this, this is ridiculous. He didn't believe in the quantum theory. Mm -hmm. We now know this is, of course, Einstein's great mistake. Mm -hmm. And he had a very famous interaction with a guy named Abraham Peist. They were walking down the street one day, and he said, look at the moon. Yeah. And Abraham looked at the moon, and he said, I see the moon. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you believe that the moon exists only because a mouse can look at it. Yeah. Mice have looked at the moon. And he said, do you think the moon sprung into existence just because a mouse looked at it? <laughs> now, <laughs> Einstein was very puzzled about this. Now, of course, the average person hearing this for the first time thinks that scientists have finally gone wacko. Mm -hmm. that scientists have finally gone off the deep. They're mad. But actually, this has been tested experimentally. We have atoms. Atoms like cats that are neither dead nor alive. And before you look at the atom, you cannot tell whether they're dead or alive, whether they have decayed or whether they're still there or not. Yeah. Okay. So the fact, the act of observing means the thing springs into existence. 